as our records started to break, uh, they got us on the show opening for James Brown. So wow. working with James Brown, we're doing five, ten thousand seat venues, you know. So yeah. that was a perfect. Be working quite a lot. Yeah, yeah we like a lot of dates. Yeah, yeah. matter of fact, that, that tour we did with James Brown, I think in all tour we did about maybe 47 one-nighters. Yeah. And that just yeah. was the vehicle. Very hard-working guy, wasn't it? Oh, very, yeah. very much so. And, yeah. and what was he like to be on the road with? You know, <laughs> I've watched a, a HBO documentary about James Brown recently, mm. and, and uh, in it it says that, you know, if, if, if the drummer skipped a beat, he used to like, you know, gesture that they oh, were really he, fine yeah, and stuff. Was yeah, he, he a hard taskmaster? He was a stickler for perfection. Yeah, man, it was to the point. Uh, it's a, a funny story with James Brown. I think we were down uh, North Carolina. It might have been Greensboro, North Carolina. Anyway, we was at sound check before our show, and he happened to come to the theater and stop and gave us a, a pep talk or, or a rap about entertaining people what we needed mm -hmm. to do and how to do it. And I guess somebody would look at it and say, man, what are you talking about there? But what he was saying was very important. Like I said, he was like a stickler about perfection. So I'm quite sure some of that kind of stuff, you know what I mean, what he was saying, it was just out of the blue when yeah. it happened. But it was very important to hear. 